What is up YouTube? So today, what we're gonna do while we're camping is uh, refill the propane tanks. Mini propane tanks. So this tank right here is a, a reusable tank. Um, they sell you on this idea of uh, reusing this tank once it's out versus these. But these, you could do the same thing as you can with this tank, okay? So don't be fooled by this, uh, I think it's like a $30 price tag. Okay, the thing I don't like about this one is if you look at this right here, it's welded and this one has a gasket seal on it so i mean that's going to eventually crack and go bad um but what you want to do is it's cold out here but you could put these in the freezer uh, with nothing in them and uh, let them uh, ice over a little bit so that way the propane could flow in a lot better but what you need is one of these adapters uh, depending on your tank so this is the adapter they have one that screws into the inside, the internal threads, if uh, you have the old style tanks. But you screw that on, okay? And then you take this and you screw it onto there. So, this is gonna require a little bit of alignment, so two hands may be required. Um, I don't tighten them all the way, I do it by hand. Uh, but you could use a wrench, hold this, and tighten it down if you're skeptical about it. Um, but let's fill this up real quick, and I'll show you how to uh, finish it up. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is flip your propane tank upside down like that, and open up the valve. So you should be able to hear it kick over when the valve's open. Hold on. So, once it's open, you could hear transferring the propane. And the reason why you want it upside down is so the liquid could fall down here and they don't fill this up with just air, okay? Once that fills up, what you're gonna need to do is same concept, but I do this twice. Um, let me take off the lid real quick. So I fill it up. Once I fill it up and I don't hear it uh, seeping in, uh, I shake it to see where the fluid's at. If it fills, it should be real low. And what you wanna do is, you got two options. So you could use needle nose, but the small like hemostats, pull up on this little plunger thing right here. Or you could do what I do. I don't like doing that because you could bend it and it can mess things up. You push this in here and you push down on it until uh, all the air comes out. Once you see a little bit of propane come out, that means you got nothing but propane in there. Um, you reconnect it, fill it up again, and then shake it. If you can't hear the liquid moving around in there, you got it too full. And you want to purge some off until you could hear the liquids uh, sloshing around in there. Um, if this thing uh, continuously leaks, push some, uh, I'm just using an old Phillips head on this multi-tool, push it in there and then you could uh, dislodge that uh, plunger, uh, that one-way check valve, okay? So you, I do it twice and you, I'm basically pretty good. Um, you wanna weigh these out, so you weigh the thing out and it should weigh a pound um, to be on the safe side. Uh, weigh out uh, a brand new one and see what it's supposed to come out because I don't know if it's a pound with the metal or without the metal. If it's with the metal, uh, you fill it up, weigh it, you're good until you hit a pound. If it's without the metal, you weigh the metal first and then zero it out. And then you weigh the propane in it. Um, so I'm not too sure on that. I'm kind of going by fill right now. And uh, two times usually works for me. So fill it up once, purge it so the air comes out, fill it up again, and then um, see if you could hear the liquid sloshing around. If not, purge it until you can. So this has to be in a well-ventilated area because if not, 
This stuff will jack you up. It stinks. And uh, it's propane, so um, it's bad to not be in a ventilated area. And then plus it's flammable, so don't be smoking cigarettes next to this stuff. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this and other content I'll be posting on this channel, definitely consider subscribing. Until next time, see you in the next one. Okay, so once we did this and filled up the liquid in here, you want to turn it off. And then you want to loosen this up. Once you loosen it up, you'll see some liquid purge out of it. Um, let me loosen it up real quick. So as you release it, it will purge itself. So you'll see some seep out. Don't be alarmed. Just make sure your valve is closed all the way. And then you shake it. So I could still, um, this needs another go because this is the first time. And uh, now we're, what we're gonna do is purge it. Oh, this one's a little bit different. You need a smaller tool to fit in there to get it to press down. So this one requires a real small tool versus this one. I was able to put the number two Phillips in there. Right. So I'm gonna use my key. So my key's real tiny, it'll fit in there. Um, it says right here that there's a few purge spots. So I just don't like this one at all. But it was it came with the stuff I bought, so we use it. So you screw it back on there and repeat the process all over again.